Hello and welcome to today's presentation. My name is Kim Clayman from steadyoptions.com. And today we're going to talk about the, one of the most important the options Greeks, the theta. So what is theta? The options theta is a measurement of the options time decay. The theta measures the rate in which, at which options lose their value, specifically the time value, as the expiration date gets closer. Generally expressed as a negative number, the theta of an option reflects the amount by which the option's value will decrease every day. So for example, if we are buying option for $100 and the theta is uh, worth uh, minus uh, $2, that means that the option value will decrease by $2 or 2% or 2 every day. And this number will become higher as we get closer to expiration. In other words, an option premium that is not intrinsic value will decline as an increasing rate as expiration years. Negative versus positive theta. Theta values are negative in long option positions and positive in short option positions. Initially, out of the money options have a faster rate of theta decay than at the money options, but as expiration nears, the at the many options begin to accelerate at a faster rate. Theta is often called a silent killer of option buyers. Buyers have only limited risk in their strategies together with potential for unlimited gains. And while it is true that you can only lose what you pay for an option, but there is also no limit how many times you can lose. And if you lose everything that you pay for an option, this is still 100% loss. Okay, when buying option, you can reduce the risk of negative theta by buying options with longer expiration. As mentioned, options with longer expiration will have the lower negative theta. Well, they will decline at a slower rate, which means lower risk. Of course, there is trade-off and the trade-off is smaller positive gamma, which means that the gains will be smaller if the stock moves. And this is an important point to remember. Everything comes with trade-off. There is no free lunch. The same is true of credit spreads, which are really selling strategies. Calendar spreads, which are an example of another selling strategies and the data positive strategy, Calendar spreads involve buying a longer dated option and selling a near dated option, taking advantage of the fact that options expire faster as we, as we approach expiration. As a general rule of thumb, option sellers want the underlying to stay stable, while option buyers want it to move. Now here is the list of the theta positive strategies, short call, short put, short straddle, short strangle. Those four, st four strategies are uh, naked strategies, which means uh, unlimited risk. Covered call right and covered uh, put right. Long calendar spread, vertical credit spread, iron condor and butterfly. And here is the list of uh, the negative strategies, which is long call, long put, those are directional strategies, long straddle, long strangle, which are non-directional strategies, vertical debit spread, which is also a directional strategy. Now let's take a look at the, some of the examples how the theta impacts the, the prices of options. So let's take an example of a, Apple stock, and we're looking at the option prices at the, on Tuesday, November 24th. So the stock was at the $118, so at the money options are 118 strike. And if we're looking at theta, theta of the weekly options expiring next week are minus $8 and theta of uh, options expiring uh, in 24 days 
are minus five dollars. So the theta of uh, weekly options, as we can see, is uh, much higher, as we mentioned before, and it will be also a much higher percentage-wise because the, the option itself, weekly option, is uh, cheaper than monthly option. So percentage-wise, this theta is uh, translates to about uh, five percent per day, while the uh, monthly option theta translates to about 2% per day. Now the theta of the uh, out of the money options becomes smaller, but percentage wise, it will be probably higher. Let's take uh, an example. If we are going to buy at the money call, 118 call, the theta will be, let's go to today, but that will be minus eight, which is around 5% of, of uh, the option cost. And if we are going with the uh, out of the money option, let's say 121, the negative data will, will be minus six, which is slightly lower in the dollar values, but much higher percentage wise. It's more than 10%. Okay, let's take a look at, at the, some of the, the strategies and I will concentrate the, mostly on the non-directional strategies because the, this is what we do at the steady options. So first strategy is the weekly struggle. Involves buying at the money call and put 118 strike. We will be paying $340 and the negative theta will be minus 16. By the way, the software that I'm using is the OptionNet Explorer, very powerful software that I highly recommend. So let's see what happens to this trade a week from now. So if the stock doesn't move, the trade will be down 45%. 154 dollars or 45 percent. Let's compare it with the weekly struggle, struggle, which will involve buying out of the money options. In this case, 120 calls and 116 puts. So if a stock doesn't move, the trade will be down 127 dollars, which is slightly less in the dollars terms, but percentage wise, it will be down 71% because the cost of the struggle was uh, significantly lower. So percentage wise, we will lose much more. So let's compare it to monthly struggle, which involves buying 118 and 118 calls and 118 puts, but going 24 days out instead of 10 days out. So seven days from now, the straddle will be down only 16%. And the strangle with same aspiration will be down 20, 22%. Remember that the weekly strangle will be down 71%. Again, assuming the stock doesn't move. However, if the stock does move, let's say to the 122%, and it moves quickly. Let's say what happens if it moves tomorrow. Even small move will mean 28% gain. Same down, around 29, 30, 35% gain. Compare it to a monthly struggle, same move will mean only 13% gain. So again, it's a trade-off. We're going uh, out uh, with longer expiration. Our risk is lower because our theta is lower, but our, our potential gain is lower as well. Now let's see what happens with theta positive strategy. For example, iron condor. So let's see what happens when we sell iron condor 
122, 123, and puts 114, 113, we're getting $25 gain, and our margin is $74. Let's see what happens a week from now. So if a stock doesn't move, the trade will be up 26%. Let's compare it with same trade, but going with monthly expiration, 24 days out. If the stock doesn't move, the trade will be up only 9% compared to 26% with weekly options. So you might ask, what is exactly the catch? Why not uh, to do iron condor uh, with uh, weekly options? So the catch is that uh, if the stock does move, let's say what happens if it moves to 122. As we can see, the trade will be down 29, 28%. Same when we move down. If it moves down to, let's say 113, the trade will be down 30%. However, if we go with monthly expiration, same move up, the stock will be down, uh, the trade will be down only 8%. Same move down, same thing, the trade is down 5, 6, 7%, less than 10%. So again, trade off, we have higher uh, positive theta, but also much uh, higher negative gamma, and which makes a, a weekly trade much more risky trade. Let's take one more example of a data positive trade, which is a calendar trade. We will be selling weekly option and buying monthly option. And the thesis it is that the, if the stock doesn't move, a, the weekly options will lose value much faster than uh, the monthly options. And since we are short those options, the trade should uh, gain value. And again, let's see what happens seven days from now. Seven days from now, the trade will be up 33%. But again, if the stock does move, the trade will be down. So same trade-off, we're going with a relatively close expiration the trade will be up significant the amount of money if the stock doesn't move. But if the stock does move, it will start losing pretty fast as well. All right. I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed the presentation. That's it for today. Bye-bye.